What's up guys, here's Claudio from Visual Motor WordPress Teams and in today's video we're gonna learn how to work with WooCommerce categories, tags and products attributes, okay? But before I can continue, please take a moment to hit the subscribe button, like this video and share this content with a friend of yours. Have no idea how much that helps us, because we bring daily videos about WordPress, SEO, plugins, optimizations and many many more topics in our tools, internet and our site's favor. So let's get this started. Very first thing is make sure that you have WooCommerce plugin installed and set up, okay? And you already have created some products to your shop. If you have some questions about it, just go to YouTube and type Visual Moro WooCommerce. We have a full playlist explaining all the features, all the options, and all the possibilities of WooCommerce, okay? So I recommend that you watch this playlist, okay? After this, you're gonna be a shop almost like this one, but we are missing some really, really really important things okay that are the products categories tags and attributes this is important for store organization management search and of course seo okay so to make your customers purchase more they they need to understand what they are doing okay so Imagine this product right here, we have the title, the price, the option to add to cart, but it's uncategorized. There is no tags, there is no search options, there is no attributes, okay? How to do this? And let's get in this started with the categories, okay? That is my favorite ones, okay? So, go to WordPress dashboard, hover, mouse over, products, and click into categories. If your dashboard does not have the products menu, it's because you did not install it WooCommerce as your WooCommerce plugin yet, okay? But go to categories. Right here, WooCommerce automatically create a category called uncategorized. We're gonna click on it to change this category because it can be deleted. And we're gonna change the slug, that is the permalink, really, really important, and change the name from uncategorized we can change for the main and the most important category of your shop in my case can be for example flowers this is a plant shop so flowers we can set a parent category or not we can type a description for this category it's important for seo if you if you type a description for a category okay so i recommend that you take a moment to type a description add some image okay it's really really important then we can change the display time from products subcategories or both and we can even upload a category thumbnail a Im an image that represents this shop products categories okay so the category of our shop in my case it's flowers so i think that this image right here represent this category so i'm gonna click and set update the category all done okay we have up updated our first category we can change the image in the case that we want okay and nothing much to do right here we can move back to categories once again and create a new category by using this field, add new category, by entering the name, the slug, the parent category or not, I don't recommend you have a parent category, a description, the display type and once again the image, okay? Really, really simple. Let's create another category called plants. Let me upload, let me try to find another image that represents this category, I think this one is good. Let's add the new category, so now we have two categories, okay? Then we have tags, then I recommend that on tags you go to your products, okay? Select one of the products, you need to do this with all of your products okay so take a moment to edit the products as good as you can it is is really really important for your sales okay and as you can review into the right sidebar of menus let me apply some zoom to make it bigger we have the option to change the image and product categories do you remember that we just have created the product category plants I can select this and unselect the flowers okay imagine that this is a plant and not a flower for example 
and we have product tags. Here I can type or select the most important tags that represents this plant, okay? Can be, for example, anything that represents your your product but you need to create any structure okay something that makes sense for your shop for example this can be a bundle this can be a box this can be a garden so we have created three tags okay let me update the product now if you go to your tags field into the WooCommerce products we can see our three tags right here we can quick edit in order to change the tag name or the slug we can delete or we can add new ones right here and if you add new ones right here once we search for the tags into the product tags while editing the product, we can find the tag selected and upload it to our product. Let me show you one example. Do you remember this product? It's set as uncategorized plant and there is no more information. Can you see now? Home, plants, plant. And there is some tags right here to make the search for this product easier. But we can go further and do more things for example imagine that you are starting a t-shirt shop what is important for a t-shirt size and colors of course so those are products attributes how to add products attributes we can go we have a tutorial explaining how to do this i'm gonna try to embed this into this video into the card over here in the description below but if you go to products attributes next to tags from your left sidebar of menus we can create a name it can be color this look is going to be the same one we can enable archives if you want to create an attribute archive page for a product and we can default sort order custom ordering name name numeric or term id up to you and add your attribute color then we can configure terms, okay? Can you see right here? Next to order by, you can configure terms. Click right here, so inside of our attribute, we can, as we can assign terms. For example, head. So this is a new color, can be blue, can be gray. It's all up to you, okay? So, it's up to your attributes and your terms. After this added, you can go back to your products once again, go to every single one of them and assign the attributes. How to do this? Let's scroll it down just a little bit until this option right here, this field, and we can see next to linked products, the attributes. And from there, we can find the color one. Color. And then we can assign the attributes. Can be a color blue, a color gray, and a color. Just like this. Let me update the product. product updated then we're gonna have attributes for example right here into a additional information color blue gray and head okay really really simple easy but yet too effective for your shop and that is hope you guys enjoyed this video feel free to use the comment section below in the case that you have any question don't forget to check out our Boiler WordPress plugin to gain widgets, elements, templates and tools to build up your site. Our Enzo WordPress team, the best free WordPress team to customize your shop and your site in the way that you want. Our Growth.net platform, a place where we can submit your blog for receiving and publishing guest posts all for free. And in the case you want to go premium and unlock full access to our premium templates library with hundreds of pre-built websites for every single business style that you can import with a single click and have this site 
just install it on yours really really fast so we can start with a ready page in addition with our premium icons blocks assets templates plugins and many many more features including our support go to visualmoto.com purchase the visual moto pass and unlock full access to our features and it is hope you guys enjoyed this video and i see you tomorrow all the best